Hey guys, it's Sandy, and in today's nail art video, I'm going to be covering 5 common mistakes that people make when doing their nails at home, especially those who are new to nail art. If you've ever tried to recreate a nail art design like this, and it ends up looking something like this, well, there's still hope for you. I'm going to be showing you guys some simple techniques that will up your nail game, so instead of failing it, you'll be nailing it. So let's get started. The first common mistake is lacking a consistent nail shape and length when you start your manicure. As you can see here, my first two nails both have a chip taken out of them. If you want a clean, perfect manicure, you'll need to have all of your nails looking the same. It's important to file all of your nails both the same shape and the same length. I love to use a crystal nail file when shaping my nails, but that's just my personal preference. Any nail file will do. If you'd like a more in-depth tutorial on how to shape your nails square, then click the info card to watch our video on that. We also have another video on shaping your nails oval if you'd prefer that nail shape. But make sure you finish this video first or else you'll be missing out on the other four common mistakes. The next one being painting nails with too much nail polish on the brush. So I see this one a lot. It's common for some people to use too much nail polish when painting their nails. This results in both nail polish pooling in the cuticle area or even having it over your skin. And when doing nail art designs with too much nail polish, the result will end up looking really messy like this. So to fix this issue, whenever you take your nail polish brush out of the bottle, make sure to press one side of the brush against the neck of the bottle to remove all of the polish from that side. But that's not all, you should also turn your brush 180 degrees in your hand and then tap the big blob on your brush onto the neck of the bottle to remove a little more of the polish as well. Now that you have the perfect amount for painting, when polishing, try to do three thin strokes over your nail and cap the tip for a longer wear. Then after a minute of drying, you can go back in and do a second thin coat for added opacity. The same goes for nail art designing. Don't have too much polish on your brush or your tool and always work with both hands rested on the table if they're shaky. The next common mistake happens when painting a glittery nail. If you want a super opaque glitter nail, don't just try to paint it on with the brush. Use a makeup sponge for the ultimate opacity. Just brush the glitter polish over a porous makeup sponge so that it soaks up the clear base, and then press it onto your nail. I like to really make sure that I'm pressing down on the makeup sponge so that all of the big chunky pieces of glitter lie flat. You may need to reapply the polish and sponge one to two more times. Then you can finish the nail with a coat of the glitter polish from the brush. Remember from the last mistake, not too much polish, just the right amount. The clear base of this polish will add shine, smoothness, and it will bring out the reflectiveness of the hollow glitter. By the way, if you're wondering which nail polish this is, it's Crystal Ball from my NCLA Cute Polish collection. We have six different glitters in the collection and they all ship worldwide. We recently got Gamer Girl, the green one, back in stock again, so if you've been waiting to snag that one, now's the time to get it before it sells out again. I'll link this collection in the description box below. The next common mistake is attaching 3D nail decor using clear nail polish. Unfortunately, clear nail polish is not strong enough to hold fun 3D decor such as bows because they're too heavy. You'll find that it won't even last a day like this. For a stronger hold, try using nail glue. Just add a dot to your nail, and no worries if you add a little too much, because you can just soak up a little bit of it with a paper towel. Then hold the bow in the glue for a few seconds while it dries in place. This will have your bow lasting for a few days instead of a few hours. If you'd like to try an even longer hold, you can go for gel polish or acrylic. The last mistake is skipping the cuticle cleanup. This step is super important for having a clean and neat looking manicure. It really will make or break the whole manicure. My favorite cleanup brush is this super cute pink and gold brush from Nail Bees. Minnie here at Cute Polish owns this brand and all of the brushes are crafted in Japan. I'll link her shop in the description box below for you guys. As you can see here, even when you paint your nails with less polish, you can still end up having an uneven line that's framing your cuticles. To perfect it, just use a small cleanup brush dipped into acetone or nail polish remover. Then tidy up the sides of your polish for a perfect looking manicure. I really hope my video today helps some of you guys perfect your nail art skills. If it did, hit that like button down below and the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. 
Also, I'm excited to let you guys know that I'm headed to New York Fashion Week again in a few days to check out the nail art backstage at some of the shows. So make sure you're following me on Instagram for a behind the scenes look through my Instagram stories. And let me know if you'd like to see some nail tutorials of the designs I'll be seeing backstage at Fashion Week so I can make a video here on YouTube for you guys. Hope you guys have a great day, take care, and I'll see you next time!